And then it's just, I mean, it's kind of like it's slightly organic the way it works, you know, when you come in and there's you know, the library and the tailors in the center, and then the shelves on one side, and then this is kind of circulation of the social area. I mean, it's a terribly simple plan. Essentially, like that staff and students there and and in there and there, but um, then it's used, you know, for public events and the public utilize this area and might come use the lecture theater and so they might use have coffee or drinks or something. Yeah? So that's why there's you know this kind of kind of a separation between the two. Oh, then the shells of this, they were originally designed, you know, there was a kind of raked floor, right? I mean, there, there have been changes since, because that one is raked floor, that one doesn't. But they, were, they originally had raked floors, and, you know, they're stepping up like this, and then the, um, and then the roof, you know, is sloping like that, and then the shell is like there, right? So what's happening is the, um, then it's kind of sitting on the base. The rest of it's out here, wherever it is. So, the reason for this is that because the wind comes down the mountains there from the southwest and it hits this and it flies over it and it causes suction here. Out here and pulls the air out. So then the uh, fresh air comes in at underneath the seating and is drawn through the steps there over heater batteries, you know, like radiators. You know. So it's in the center. So you get warm air, fresh air coming in there, and it's just naturally drawn out through this by this suction. And to help it to work, then there's, you know, there's, there are vents on the back of it, which you can open here as well, to cause a greater draft. You know. And then these, this all opens here, these glass parts. And then so that the, you get reflected light down onto the sort of teaching surface here. And then to that was attached a kind of pavilion, which is raised off the ground, you know. And you put the cars underneath, and then you can fresh air can go underneath, and and so there's no mechanical ventilation in the building. It's just simple that you could possibly make. I'm very anti artificial light, anti air conditioning, anti all those things. Always have. I mean, it's very low energy building because of the daylight, because of the ventilation. But I mean, the, the, the BMS, which is only about that size, a little box that operates the whole thing. I mean, the guys, the security guys unplug it and they plug their, their mobile phones in to charge them and then they stick the thing back in again. And of course, the thing is not set properly. So the thing hardly ever works. Drives you, drives you, drives you mad. Originally, I had a, I had a, um, I had a big site, which which came out here, was out further. So they said they they wanted to use water in the landscape, and they said I had to use their landscape architects. I said fine. I mean, the disappointing thing about it is that the the uh, structure is extremely ugly and that's because I had appalling rows with the structural engineers who just wouldn't do what they were told and they refused to redesign everything and the client refused to. The client actually wasn't Dr. Ryan, it, it was actually, but it means actually his son is paid for it as a present for him. But the sons wouldn't pay for it. I wanted to fire the engineers and get another proper firm, but they wouldn't agree to it. 
just because I like them. <laughs> I mean, the windows are W20, which is what's there. It's a particular type of steel window. I mean, it's, it's the same as that. And um, I just happen to like it.